These plugins are perfect for creating those kind of beats. What's up and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to create an afro beat or maybe afro swing inspired beat. So if you want to check out the samples which I've used in this tutorial, make sure to check out the link in the description. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. So for us, let's adjust the BPM to 100. And in this video, I'm using the new Arturia Collection 9. And this one contains awesome presets for creating the best melodies. So first, let's start off with the updated Analog Lab 5. So let's explore. So found this plug strings preset. And right now, let's build the melody. So I'm opening up the piano roll and I'm adjusting the scale to let's pick a random one. Right now it's C minor. So let's pick F minor. So let's write in an F, a C, and another C. Let's add a D sharp. Copy the whole thing. So let's turn this one down half an octave to G sharp. And this one up to C sharp. Maybe everything one note up. So from C to D, from F to G, and C sharp. I run now something downwards. So copy this one again to C, D sharp in the scale. This one is not a scale, so maybe one note down. Perfect chord progression. So right now we're gonna add another layer and we're gonna pick another layer using Analog Lab 5 again. So I'm using this rooftop EP preset and just copy this one and paste it into this one. Maybe one octave lower. Then select the whole chord progression, option, and then we're gonna reduce the velocity of the notes. So it basically removes the high frequencies of all the notes. Sounds way much better. So right now just let's add another synth on top of this one. And I'm using the Jupiter 8 V4, also new from the collection 9. And uh, let's pick a key. So I was searching for some lo-fi keys. Let's use this plug. And just let's start off from here. again and maybe add a one step earlier all right now we're gonna add something new so they just released their new augmented strings so let's use this one of course pick another preset so I found this sad day salo preset or right, now just let's draw in the chord. So start off at F, D and C. Maybe turn up one octave. So just playing it one time in four bars. So just to add details to the sound and the sample. So right now let's add a vocal sample. So I'm gonna use RK. So I'm using the Nobody Knows preset bank and I'm gonna adjust the key. And we're creating this beat in F minor. So select this one, open it up. Let's use this one. That's great, so just another element and maybe turn down and turning down the volume a little bit. And right now let's add something random from Arcade, something like a saxophone. So find this upscale funk preset, also adjusting the key right now to F minor, going through the presets. This one sounds up, let's use this one. So just another awesome element. So right now let's start off by building the drums. So later on I'm gonna add the effects, but first just let's add some drums. So I'm using the Afrobeats producer kit, the link is in the description. And I'm starting off 
with some drum one shots. First, let's pick a kick. I want the low one, which is present, so this one. And also pick a rim shot. So I want something that really hits, so use this one. And I'm starting off with that simple triplet pattern. So when you hold option, it's automatically adjusted to 78%. And this is my starting point, so let's go. No, no, no. So right now I'm gonna add the kick. Something like this. So I've adjusted the four bar loop to an eight bar loop and I've added some more kicks. So right now it sounds like this. So that's it. And right now I'm gonna paste it in the, into the arrangement and let's add a shaker loop. So let's add this one, press song. So that's it. And we're now gonna add some more drum one shots. So let's add a hi hat. Let's add this one. And when adding percussions like this, it all comes down to adding more rhythm. So I've adjusted the velocity to add some swing, and right now it sounds like this. So we're now at shaker. So let's add shaker 17. So we're now drawing this simple shaker and just have a look at the volume. So the first shaker is quieter than the second one. And this adds more rhythm. Turn down the volume. So let's add an open head. So let's add this one. Maybe let's add another rim shot. So, so let's use this one. I'm just gonna create an extra layer. So I'm just following the same rim shot pattern. And we're now at a typical Afrobeat sound, which is the impact, the clap impact. So let's add this finder clap impact, paste it right here and turn down the volume. So right now we're gonna add the 808. So the pack also contains some awesome and original 808s. So let's add the first one, open it up, and then I'm adjusting the envelope like this, square. So right now let's follow the root note from the chord progression. So start off at this F. Maybe second note right here. And just create something within the chord progression. That's fire, so this one. So add this G, then D sharp. Maybe adjust this one, add a G. G and D sharp. So right now I'm side chaining the kick to the 808 and I'm adding the kickstart too. And right now I'm gonna side chain, so I'm selecting audio, options, processing, and then node one and select kick. And, now, and right now we're able to side chain. So I'm selecting the high chain like this. And of course, for the vocal, we're first we're gonna remove the high frequencies. So I'm selecting the Pro Q3, but you can also use the EQ2 from Fruity, Shape, High Cut. This should sound fine. Another low cut. Something like this. And then a ton of reverb. And of course, we're gonna add some swing, 20%. So that's it when it comes to creating other elements or now I'm gonna do a little bit of mixing and later on create a simple arrangement with you guys. So right now I've applied some mixing, some leveling and it sounds like this.
way cleaner. So right now, let's build a simple arrangement with you guys. So first I'm gonna select all those elements. Then I'm gonna open a pattern two. Pattern two, right mouse button, split by channel. So right now I split all the channels. Shift, and I'm gonna select them all. And then draw them in into the arrangement like this. So remove this one. And right now I'm gonna organize the elements. So first at the top, the melodies like this. The 808 right here, somewhere right here. So this could be it, just what you prefer. Then I'm gonna select this one, press Ctrl C and press Ctrl B maybe four times. So we have a 32 bar beat. And well, now we're just gonna start off with some elements. So let's remove the riff, the strings, the melody, all the drums, maybe the clap, leave it right there. So first we just have the vocal and the chorus playing. Delay the snare a little bit. So turn the volume, but maybe it's still too loud. So maybe remove the riff. So first, those elements coming in. Maybe remove those ones right here. thing. Something like this. And maybe just the chords. Move the kicks. And then just use this one. This one. Maybe delay the riff. So just the chorus are coming in and and the strings and the vocal and the and the melody like this, just to keep it interesting. Maybe the shake a loop right here. This part so when the drums aren't playing also remove the shaker loop like this and a clip when just the chords are playing maybe just add the strings right here right now I'm just playing around and just trying something and right now it sounds like this and by the way I've added some more reverbs and delay to the vocal so this delay this vintage verb. And also added this chorus June 6. The chords and also some reverb. Just simple, just as a build up. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
maybe add a roar right here or another effect so remove the kick just to keep it interesting don't make the drums too repetitive Shaker coming in again. So remove the drums once again. All the elements coming in again. Simple arrangement. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to download this free FOP. The link is in the description. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at 7beats. And I hope to see you in one of my next tutorials.